Good evening. An undercover investigation by BBC South East Today has exposed the widespread sale of counterfeit and smuggled cigarettes at shops in East Sussex. The illicit trade is estimated to cost the government more than £2 billion a year in lost tax revenue. Well, Law-abiding shopkeepers say that smuggled cigarettes are badly damaging their trade. Our Home Affairs correspondent Colin Campbell has our exclusive report. Selling smuggled and counterfeit cigarettes over the counter, they're shopkeepers who are clearly breaking the law. This pack has no health warning, they're fake, and no duty's been paid on them. We covertly filmed in four different shops in St. Leonard's and Hastings. Yeah, please uncovering a widespread black market trade in illicit cigarettes. Hi. We showed our footage to the local MP. Have you got any facts as well? It's, it's shameless really, isn't it? Is it? Very shocking and very surprising. Uh, I think everybody's aware that it goes on to a limited degree, although we don't want it to, but the idea of it being sold over the counter in news agents is really quite shocking. So I'm very unhappy about it. All of the cigarettes we bought were kept hidden from view. So it's just the same? It's in Russia. Belarus. Belarus. Produced from under the counter or secret boxes. Thank you. Super cake. That's it. People interested. They're they just normal. They're just normal fags. Yeah. Really? In some shops, we were even offered a range of different smuggled brands. What's L and M's? Have a look at those. Yeah. Are they just? They're just like. They're just. Uh, no, they're just a light one, and we do not. It's a light one. That light one, Sheila. You interested in the light? Well, no. Nah, I'll take the normal ones okay. because I I recognise Super Kings. I don't recognise L and M's. Both yeah. <laughs> yeah. these come from the um, the Russian states. I mean, this that one is actually a Russian cigarette, and this one is a Ukraine cigarette. But they cannot legally be sold in this country. Um, they don't carry the right warnings, and um, probably the, the nicotine content, content is not correct either. The cigarettes cost us two to three pounds for a pack of 20, less than half the average UK price. Every pack of smuggled cigarettes cheats the Treasury of around four pounds in tax revenue. With household budgets being squeezed, it's understandable why there is a significant demand for low-cost cigarettes. It's now estimated that one in ten cigarettes smoked is either counterfeit or smuggled like these. And it seems the demand is being driven by the view that it's a victimless crime. I think it's OK, because if you're a smoker, then if you get cheap packs, it's better, isn't it? Cheaper packs, the better they are. That's my opinion. You don't think there's anything wrong in buying cheap cigarettes? No, it's safe for money. £2.50. Yeah, £2.50. £2.50? Yeah. So those are smuggled cigarettes then? Yeah. And <laughs> you don't have any issues about buying smuggled cigarettes? Not really, not for the price of cigarettes today. But what many overlook is the impact it's having on legitimate traders. Well, obviously we're losing sales, legitimate sales. We're losing our customers, we lose the footfall coming through the door so they might buy other things. It affects all the oh, retailers right. in a big way. We've got a packet of fans as well. Yeah. Yeah. As we discovered, it's no longer a discreet trade confined to car boot fairs and pubs. Oh, well, they're a bit squashed and they're a bit hard to avoid. Oh, so, yeah. This shopkeeper brazenly admitted to us that his tobacco is illegally sourced. Well, I mean, there's cheap, decent ones as well, but those <laughs> ones have been smuggled. In. Yeah. And this is where much of the smuggled tobacco enters the country, Dover. Over the last few months, there have been a number of significant seizures, but it's still getting through, making its way into shops. Excuse me, uh, I'm a journalist from the BBC. Uh, we've repeatedly bought smuggled counterfeit cigarettes from your shop. I've got anything to say? Excuse me, you do realise it's illegal, don't you? Have you got anything to say? Other shopkeepers also chose to give no comment. Excuse me, mate, I'm a journalist from the BBC. We've repeatedly filmed you selling smuggled uh, cigarettes. These are counterfeit cigarettes. Uh, what you're doing is illegal. Have you got anything to say at all? No. It's illegal to sell these cigarettes. No Can you tell me why you're selling them? Uh, so you're not just a tax cheat, oh. okay? You're doing legitimate 
legitimate news agents out of business by selling these. Do you understand that? No. Huh? I don't speak English. You, we, we know you speak English very well because no. you've tried selling us a range of fake smuggled cigarettes. What you're doing is illegal. What you're doing is illegal. You're a tax cheat. Okay. Who cares was his response? Well, cheating the country of much needed cash, jeopardizing the livelihoods of law abiding businesses. There is a long list of people who do care. Colin Campbell reporting now. Well, he's live in Hastings for us now. And Colin, it's not just the public finances being affected, is it? It's their public health as well. Absolutely, Rob. It's estimated to cost the government £2 billion a year in lost tax revenue. Now, that is enough money to fund the running of the Conquest Hospital here in Hastings, the District General Hospital in Eastbourne, plus other community health services across the area for five years. And yes, counterfeit cigarettes are claimed to be having a significant impact on smokers' health. The NHS says that uh, counterfeit cigarettes like these contain six times as much lead as normal licit cigarettes, which is why we're now going to be getting these sent off to be independently tested to find out exactly what's inside them. Okay, Colin, thank you.